Okay, so a little bit more information about HTML. Uh, there are a lot of different ways that you can create HTML. You can simply create a file, um, and there are different editors out there. Uh, I use Sublime. Uh, I've also used Atom and just a plain notepad uh, when I was using Windows. You can use any text editor to create an HTML file. So here I created a file. It's a blank file. Some of these editors have some cool uh, features such as I just typed in HTML, press a tab, and it auto-populates. That's kind of a neat feature. Um, but if you don't have this, just type in manually. In the beginning, it's a very good exercise to type all of these individually. So again, um, focus on these super important items. Um, and again, you will be able to create majority of everything you need just using these tags. So let's, let's play around with this. And I wanted to also illustrate a concept. So let's do this really quick. So the title tag, uh, let's call it a CSS demo. So what is a title tag? Well, the name that shows up in the tab, and also when you do a Google search, so let's say coding, um, these are title tag for that particular HTML page. Okay, so how do you define it? Well, just learned it here in the title tag over here. So now inside the body is where we put in uh, these tags. So I can do a heading, uh, let's say heading one, and make sure you close it properly. Let's create a few different headers. Two, three, four, two, three, four. And then let's create some paragraph. And let's make it a little bit longer. To know that that's a paragraph. Maybe we insert some of these paragraphs in between the uh, header. Okay, and indent it like that. And you always want to kind of indent your code. I usually put a tab um, inside. Okay, so the other things that you need to get familiar, okay, we've done heading. Let's put, why don't we put some, you can put some image. Let me just skip the image. Um, UL li, so this is my list one. Let's put a few different lists. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Uh, let's do a division. This is my first division. Uh, division, this is my second division. And don't worry at this point about making anything look pretty. You just wanna play with these tags and see how it looks. So TR, this is creating a row. This is now creating um, uh, a column. So let's say this the first on the top, let's say name, and we'll say city. And then on the second row, uh, let's put Michael. And I'm in Bellevue, Washington. Okay, so we'll put that. And you can save it. Now there are a few ways that you can um, show this in the browser. If you're using Sublime, you can right click and click on open in browser and it will do it. Or you can just simply drag the file um, to the browser and it will open automatically. Okay, so there is a heading one, this is paragraph, this is list. Okay, that's division, second division, this is my table. Okay, that's paragraph. Don't worry about um, what will go inside each of the tags. Just play, play around with it just to get familiar, okay? Let's go back and master some of the other things, form. Uh, get familiar with that because you will be using that input type text uh, Let's say value. Okay, you don't have to worry about that for now placeholder enter name So I can say enter and then let's do enter name and this one will say enter password and For now, why don't I put that inside a division? not DOB, every single character you type matters. And then let's also put that in another division. You didn't have to, but I'll just do it like that for now. And then what are some other things you need to, we've done input, okay. Let's do enter password as a placeholder. This will be password. And let's just stop here for a moment, save it. And when you reload, you can see, okay, there it is. Okay, so there we got that working. Um, you can do select option, so let's say age, 
and then select and option let's just go from zero all the way to so here it helps to do a indentation like this so since select is inside a division you can indent your code like this then I close my select and then I close the division right so we say we're gonna start from zero two three four five um, save it okay so now there's a drop down okay that's good and let me close that that's distracting and then what else we've done basically almost all of it right okay um, we can put some image too so you can either put the image that you want I, let me just go to this and um, I can also copy image address and let's put that image right here so image source I paste the link save it and there's that image okay so um, and that's basically all you need to do at this point to master HTML uh, it, almost everything else can in the in the world is really creating uh, using these again uh, you don't have to know these right now okay so once you got familiar with that then uh, you use CSS now you may be thinking okay Michael is that really all that I need uh, let me show you a little bit and this might be helpful if you're uh, completely new into this okay so notice how just pay attention to how things look that's a heading paragraph list okay that's input type text select image okay all right um, we did have a table it didn't show the border all right so now what we're going to do is later when you do CSS you're going to learn how to add a style tag to indicate how each of the elements should look so for example if I want the if I want the body to have a black background and I want the color of the font to be white you basically do it like this and then see how it changed up right if I want for example the heading to have a color of let's say red I do this and there it becomes red if I want for example um, paragraph to have a margin of 15 pixel and padding of 25 pixel all the way around then you do this and you can see how it puts some spacing on around okay so this looks a little ugly so let me let me not do this maybe what I'll do is I'll just highlight the color to be yellow right? and you can see that all the uh, paragraphs are highlighted in yellow okay so uh, there are three ways you can add CSS this is um, this is one way where you just put it inside the HTML and when you're starting out just do it this way another way that you should never do is add a style directly here so I can say for example color blue notice how I removed everything so if I save it then it should do this you should never do this uh, this is what amateurs do you yeah you don't want to do that ever okay but that's a second way the third way is to uh, everything that you had in this you can create an external CSS file and basically just import it how do you import an external file you create an external file and then I think you, you do a link yeah and then if you named the CSS file main.css then you basically do that and it will basically link to that import it and do that but anyway you can again use w3school as a resource to learn how to do it uh, but that's basically the nutshell of CSS now again when you're doing this remember that you need to first master um, these CSS tags first okay these are the most important and then you can sometimes use this most of the time you don't even need to use any of this uh, and then if you're then picking up responsive design then then you can do this okay all right so now one thing that I do want to show you is how websites look without CSS um, and I do want to kind of show you that um, this is really all the tags 
that you need to know. So, okay. So what we're going to do is, uh, why don't we go visit some site? Well, I was at CNN, so let's go to CNN. Now, um, later as you level up, you will learn some of the advanced tools for now. Don't worry too much about some of the advanced tools that I'll be showing you, but I'm using Chrome, I'm right clicking, uh, and let's go into inspect. So inspect is basically where I can see um, the, the source code. So this was the HTML that was provided when I went to CNN.com. So now I can do some interesting things. I can, for example, use the pointer and, and find out exactly what, what part of the HTML is providing that information that's shown over here. I can even double click and say, welcome students. I can change any of the text here and then it would also reflect over there. I can also just highlight areas that I want the browser to remove its rendering. And then you can see it just kind of goes away, right? So I can do that. Uh, it doesn't actually change the website for other people. It just changes what your browser is showing. But anyway, um, you, you probably have gone to CNN. You will know how it looks, right? It looks beautiful with three columns. Uh, but how would this look if there was no CSS? Well, there are a few different ways to do it. One of the easiest way is remember that the CSS information should be inside the head. So what I'm going to do is um, inside the head, I'm just going to click it and delete it. So now let's take a look at how the site looks without any CSS. This is how it looks. Okay, there are some interesting things going on over here, but okay, that's an image, that's a ULLI, right? A list, okay, input type text, okay, list, right, with an image, list, image, and, and so forth. List and an image, and a link. This is how CNN.com looks if there was no CSS. Remember that HTML should have the structure or the information, but shouldn't have any information about how that information should look or where it should go. That's the CSS job, right? Uh, CSS dictated that, hey, put this content over on this side and then make it look you know, this big, make, you know, make the background color this, put background image and so forth. That's all CSS. How about ESP, ESPN.com? How would ESPN.com look without CSS? Right now it looks beautiful, right? CSS dictated this H, I don't know if this is H2 or H3, where it should go, how the border should look, how much spacing there should be, and it made it look this beautiful. But how would the site look without any CSS? Well, let me do inspect element again. And then let's find the head. There it is, the head. Let me delete it. So all the CSS gone. This is now how ESPN.com looks. Okay. And these are all the things we've done, right? List, image, link, ULLI, image, and so forth, right? Okay, ESPN, there's an image here with a link, right? Uh, another ULLI link, uh, you see some headers, right? Uh, you see some input type, um, um, either these are buttons or submit, input type uh, submit, yeah, but everything else is really all the things that are mentioned here. Right, the super important HTML tags, you're gonna recognize it. Okay, again, it was the CSS job. Once the CSS was uh, used by the browser, it said, okay, put this information over here, put a radius, border radius here, put a font color, put this much margin, padding, put it on the left, put it on the top. All that was dictated by uh, CSS. So let's do another one. How, how would Apple? website look without CSS, right? It's beautiful, a lot of animation, but how would Apple look without CSS? So again, I can do the trick, highlight the head, delete it, and this is Apple. Welcome to Apple.
without CSS. Heading, right? Probably H1, ULLI, links, big image, big image. Yep, this is how Apple looks. Again, the CSS dictated where things should go. Now, some of these uh, animations could have been done using CSS, some of the latest CSS support animation, or it could have been done using JavaScript. Any interactions that you see on the website uh, that's appearing on the browser, that's all done basically by JavaScript. So Apple is using simple images and ULLI, ULLI and they're using CSS to make it look very beautiful. Okay, uh, there's a um, there's a good website that I really like, which is called it's called cssengarden.com. So look at this website. Okay, I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller. Okay, and go in and visit this website. And on the right or somewhere, you're gonna see uh, different links. So go in and it looks very different. Okay, very different, you know, look and feel. Well, what's interesting is all of this, it has exact same HTML. The only thing that's different is the CSS file. Notice how on one side, this one shows up on the left, on another CSS file, this shows up on the right. It's, 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 it's all dictated by the CSS. Again, the CSS dictates where things should go, how things should look, uh, and anything with the appearance. So this is a really good site, go ahead and play with it. Uh, again, HTML is exactly the same. And again, I can do the same thing. I can do an inspect. And if I go and remove the head, remove the CSS file, again, the site looks like your HTML exercise. Heading, right, paragraph, links, and ULLI, right? I can even do view page source and look at some of the HTML right? Paragraph, link. They're using a footer. Um, you don't need to use footer. There's a way to do it just using a division. Uh, but see how they're using division, list, li, all the things that are really highlighted um, in the yellow and gold bucket. So that's it. Uh, go ahead and uh, spend time learning some of the CSS. Now in the blog, um, I listed some of the challenges. Uh, for you to uh, get better and uh, one of the challenges given this HTML a very short HTML make it look like this uh, you may struggle in initially but it will force you to um, have a discipline of building out um, the information purely in the HTML without having any information about appearance uh, in the HTML file itself but how to structure so that it, look like, it looks like this. Uh, you will have to be familiar with um, inline block versus block and how to use display, vertical align, and so forth. Uh, and there are some other series of assignments that will help you level up. And by the time that you do this, um, you, you should be a lot more familiar with uh, how to create websites. I have some other videos that you can watch uh, to give you some tips and some other tips on uh, how to make your code better um, and some of the mistakes that a lot of front-end developers that I, I've uh, worked with and coached and hired um, some of the mistakes they made and what you can do to avoid it but in the beginning you want to level up and master the fundamentals get to another level get to another level and then learn some of these advanced techniques uh, you don't want to overwhelm yourself with all the advanced stuff right now so um, just one step at a time. Okay, well, happy coding. Good luck.